Hello guys, today we are going to see how to make a cool explosion. First of all, we are going to add a UV sphere. Next, we are going to the data properties and we are going to add a new vertex group. We are going to call it noise. Next, we are going to the modifier tab and we are going to add a vertex weight edit. Okay? And under vertex group, we are going to select our vertex group, that is noise. We are going to click group add and group remote threshold. And this is important. Under fall off, you have to select custom curve. And you, ha and you have to invert this line. Like so. Okay. Now, under influence, you have to create a new texture. We are going to call it noise as well. And under text texture coordinate, you have to select object and make it a new object. So we, we are going to make an empty and we have to select this empty. So now we are going to the noise tab the texture tab, sorry, and you have to change this this noise to clouds and a Voronoi F3, for example. So you can play with these values to see which fits you better. I'm going to select Voronoi F4. I'm going to scale it, decrease the brightness and the contrast a little bit okay maybe like, like this if if we we are not happy with this we can change it change it later so no problem next we have to add a subdivision surface with three is is enough okay and now we have to add a mask and we are going to select our noise vertex group and look at that it start to disappear if we increase the threshold maybe like this like so okay but it's uh, a little bit too square to smooth it we have to add a you guessed it a smooth Okay, repeat and look at that. Now our sphere is going to change the changes with the with this empty. And if we scale it down and scale it up, it seems like an explosion. So to make the, the explosion, we are going to make a, we are going to insert a keyframe, okay? So scale, we are going to make it really, really small. But first we have to decrease the size of this empty because if if not, it's going, it's going to disappear. So make this really small, insert a keyframe in the scale maybe go to 100 and scale it again like this and keyframe pressing i scale and now we have our cool explosion nice to make it disappear we are going to scale this up this empty so we are going to make it disappear after frame frame 100. So uh, scale in one in frame 100 and maybe 170. We are going to scale it a lot. Until it disappears. So now first go goes explosion. And now it disappeared. 
maybe we can add a little bit of rota rotation but this is up to you so that's the first part now we are going to add the the materials so go to shading shading and add a new material we are going to delete this principal node and we are going to add a emission shader we are going to increase the, the strength you have to select bloom okay if you want to see this like aura and now you can play with this material as, as, uh, as you want I'm going to add a color ramp okay and a text and a mapping node so now I can play with this value maybe I can do the this part mm, kind of green and this other part a little bit blue so yeah that's all now you can make a cool explosion let's see the, the result So hope you like it and stay tuned for more, see ya!